Oh, I'm just really far zoomed out. It's like, you didn't look like my, my little worker friends. That's cool. Don't build that one first. There you go. Aha. I'm gonna do that. Bang. I should get power to that, right? Actually, screw it. I'll go like this. Whoa! And should I just do this? Oh, look! It needs to actually be attached. Bam! That. Don't build that. Thank you. Oh, if you right click on it before it's built, it just goes away. That's cool. Why are you guys building sideways? Okay. I fixed it. Bing! I don't know. Why didn't you guys connect that? I said connect this. <clears throat> Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electrical chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. Done. The electrical, well, the electrical chair. The electric chair itself is a special type of, of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with main cables. Connect the electric chair to the. Uh, I did that like six times. They're just walking like snails. There you go. What the fuck? Someone needs his pills. We're almost done. I think we should test the new execution room. At least once before we try to use it, though. Oh, he OD'd. Well, at least he looks happy. Oh, that's not a smile. That's his, <laughs> that's his facial hair. Well, that's not okay. Can I do anything about that? No? I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds. Make sure everything is okay. Well, well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and it tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. Oh, that means riots, right? We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electrical chair generates. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Look, there's an extra space. Switch the power station back on by, by clicking on it. And selecting switch on the menu that appears. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electrical chair. I keep calling it electrical chair, that's driving me crazy. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. <clears throat> okay, so it said on. And then build some capacitors. There you go. Bing, bing, bing. Super speedy time. Oh, this is my load. Maybe not, because I would have guessed that that would have dropped. Oh, it did drop. Okay, now uh, switch this on, right? Why is it all the way over here? It worked. It worked. Well done. I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is our out of our hands. We did a professional job. That's what's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Is this a Oh, okay, I was going to say, that looks like a Jesus. It totally is. Can I help you? 
I already forgot Edward's voice. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want to for her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and, we, and he will have the final judgment on you. Oh, he's actually carrying the book. That's cool. Whew. Excuse me. Profile. That was the word I was trying to look for when it was saying Polaroid earlier. Old Sparky. What is this stuff all over my prison? Oh, I was wondering why it was taking forever. Edward Romsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. You have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. Oh, snap. Oh, there's a mama hippo. Palermo? Holy crap, our prison's on fire! There's a crisis brewing at one of our other facilities. Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority is to put it out, stop any casualties, and prevent more damage. Holy crap! Use the emergency service button on the tour board to call the fire brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down. Uh, emergency. Uh, fireman. Did I do anything with it? Is this? Oh, they're coming. What is this? I click mouse to order your fireman to move there. Fireman will aim hoses. Hey! Come fucking put out this fire! Quickly! Quickly! Shit's on fire! Oh look, they actually have... Oh, they're just drawn lines, it's funny. Are they actually doing anything? Where are they? Oh, well... Dude, did the fireman just die? Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. You're not supposed to run into the fire. Well, they all died, so... Load? Uh... Can I just... Oh, restart. Here we go. Apparently, they run right into the fire like dummies. Hey, welcome back, Sabrina. Alright. Bang. 
call more? Oh, I can call more. Okay. Come put out some freaking fires, yo. You guys go there. You guys go there. Did that work? Run. Run quickly. Don't any of you get killed. Okay, so they're actually putting out the fire this time. That's good. Will they move inwards? They won't move automatically. Okay. Um, uh, maybe. Man, the range on those things is crazy long. Look at the range! Craziness. Alright. Uh... Can I grab the right dudes? I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I can grab them as a group. Aha! That'll work. Don't any of you walk through the fire, please. Hey, we did it. I think. I don't see any more fire. Good job, fire guys. Thank you. Oh, hurt guy. My god, there's a survival in the wreckage. Did you start the fire? Bleep! On a crutch. It's Don Palermo. What? Of all the inmates, it just had to be our mob boss. Someone tried to order a hit. Bad news for him is that our budget cuts have meant we have to sack all our permanent doctors. Oh, oh, oh crap. The good news is our infirmary is still usable. Hire a couple of doctors and they'll take care of Don Palermo while he, he sort this mess out. Alright. We need to clear this up. Clear up this mess. Dude, this place is jacked. Use the bulldozer tool to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. You need to remove all the debris. Ooh, excuse me. Apologize. Okay. Designated garbage zone. Designated garbage zone adjacent to the road. My workmen will dump the wreckage there for the garbage trucks to dispose of. Finally, can you send those firemen home now that they've done their job? I've added more details on each of these objectives into your to-do list. Anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective and you'll see additional instructions. Cool. Can I click this and they'll go home? Oh, that guy's hurt. Okay, designate a... There is a bug! Ah! Fucker. That was annoying. Uh, bulldoze. Oh wait, no, we should probably make... Ah, eh, screw it, we'll bulldoze it. The noise that makes is gnarly. And then... Rooms. Garbage. Speed up. Be impatient. Uh, I already bulldozed everything. Staff. Doctor. Where's the infirmary? There's no water in there. Is this the infirmary? Nope. Infirmary. There it is. Found it. You say hire a couple of doctors. Bam. Did it. Crap! Did I just build a third one? Dude was ODing. Clear the kitchen wreckage. That's almost done. Hire more workers to speed up the demolition. Sure. Stop it, ODing, you crazies! I did it. Good work. Let's check up on our casualty. You got two faces up in here. I 
That guy's turning awful red. Are they strangling him? Nope. I think he tried to say something. Which of you cocksucking blip dead you gonna get me TOS rap piss motherfucker did you do this? Look how doofy this guy is. Seen your necks a lot. None did this to you, Poppy. It was an accident. I forgot the voice I gave him already. Shut your stinking mouth and listen to the good. The both of you. If I knew what you fuck stir that fire, I'd snap your sneaking neck. Really, you don't look in any position to be snapping anything. But my time is done. I'm gonna die in this fucking bed. And there's a family business to run. The Palermo name is all we got left. So you do the honorable thing, you dirty pieces of shit fucks. Capiche? <laughs> we know what to do, pops. I never remember the voices I give them. I think it's worthless to remember. Except the chief. I'll remember his voice. Watch your fucking back! This isn't over, Nico! Wow, I changed his voice at least three times. Without food, these inmates will be tearing the walls down within a couple days. We've got to secure the prison before we end up with a riot on our hands. This is the deployment screen. From here you can control the tactical deployment of all your guards. Deploy a spread of guards to all cell blocks and rooms. Assign 10 guards to stations around the prison. That should be sufficient to show strength for now. I also want to patrol around the inner courtyard where we will be building the new facilities. Inner courtyard, okay. Anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objectives and you'll see additional instructions. Okay, deploy guards around the prison. Deploy 10 guards, okay. Uh, guard, guard. So, one, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah? We'll do eleven for good measure. Assign two guards to patrol the inner courtyard. Okay. Oh, did I do this wrong? Oh, I did do this wrong. Okay. There we go. I got it. Okay. And we'll do... Is that good enough? Yeah, all right. We have a lot of work still to do. We need to turn our attention to replacing the kitchen and canteen. First, we need to rebuild the kitchen. We'll need to install several pieces of equipment and hire some chefs. Once it's done, build a new canteen. Oh, did our chefs, chefs quit once that got lit on fire? Once you have all that completed, the chefs will automatically start prepping meals for this entire prison. If you aren't sure what to do at any time, try highlighting the objectives in the to-do list to see some hints. Build a kitchen. Build a kitchen. Okay. 